kind of a mess we had here. So this part of our garden here, a raised bed, it's been here for like, gosh, 10, 11 years. And it just got grown up with weeds. This kind of stuff here, I don't know what this is. This is some of the most invasive mess in the world. And we'll get in here and it gets in. It seems like it got in through this mulch we brought in. I don't know where it came from. We're trying to get all that out. That's the asparagus bed. I got grapes. We didn't trim last year. I cut all this off. I got grapes growing on the ground. The grapes go grow crazy here, man. And every year, if I, like last year, we just got so busy, I didn't get to come out here and trim these vines, so they're just a total mess. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to work on them today or not, but what a mess. He's got bee balm growing up in the asparagus, but the asparagus, we usually get a bunch of it every year, and we did, we did this year too, but there's lots of the weeds in there I gotta get out. But this, we're gonna put some uh, barrier down, and I'm gonna use old leaves we can see that wheelbarrow over there. It's got a bunch of other old leaves in it. We're going to use that for kind of mulch. Put a weed barrier down. And then we're going to plant some flowers and stuff in here. So this is just the before shot. We'll show you the after shot in a little bit. So we <clears throat> cleared all the weeds. This thing was so grown up with weeds. It's unreal. They were like two feet high of weeds. Nikki's been working on master's degrees. I've been crazy busy with freelance work. We just kind of let the garden go for a few years, honestly. But that looks a lot better. We um, we have a bunch of river birch leaves and stuff every year, and I just kind of piling up the compost pile and put more and put them out of four or five inches in here just to be mulch or put some uh, weed barrier down to keep the weeds out. But I pulled literally seems like thousands of weeds out of that. We uh, put some potting soil. It's actually really good potting soil. It's pretty inexpensive at Lowe's. I put I think three and a half bags of it in there. It's about I'd say eight inches thick uh, on top of of uh, some weed barrier. And those are some peppers. I think she's put some thyme and I don't know what else. She put a few other things in there, but I planted all the peppers. That's a bunch of peppers. So those were lows. They're probably seven or eight, maybe nine inches high, some of them. But over there on the other side, you see that I planted those two weeks ago and they were the same size as that. So those are a foot tall and they're already bearing some peppers, but she put some fairy flowers. She actually put this little rack in here and there's some uh, thornless blackberries she wanted to grow up right here. This is all Nikki's little vision of what she wants to do with the garden. I just kind of dig holes and shovel mulch and I water it and everything. Uh, the asparagus feeds have just been awesome over the years. Uh, I still got to get a bunch of weeds out of there. But every year we have a really good little patch of asparagus in here. I eat it for about a month and a half. It's way better than what you get in the store. This is the bee balm stuff she puts out for bees. Nikki used we used to keep honey bees. Uh, they ran off about three years ago, and we've we're getting ready to get us maybe some new hives. She's in the process of doing this. Is all just a weedy mess right now. We're going to clean all this up and get it back to the, the way it looked years ago. You can see out here where Hendrix and I would we'll go out and we'll cut asparagus. That's, I cut it off and he loves to eat it. But yeah, these peppers are, you're getting ready to redo all this rock work here too and put some, some better, better looking rock and stuff in here. But there are peppers growing in there already. That's why I planted these, I think it was two Saturdays ago. And so they, they were uh, seven, eight, nine inches tall then. You got that pepper growing there. Now they're better than a foot tall. All of them, those uh, planted these tomatoes at the same time. That tomato's grown, I swear, a foot and a half in two weeks. So we're growing them all in, in pots. See the peppers growing over here. Yeah, this is just my little uh, log of how the garden grows <laughs> and goes. It's been, at times, it's been absolutely beautiful. At times, it's been not so great because we just haven't had time. We've been so busy, just life changes and stuff. The blueberry bushes, we put them in the ground. They were maybe a foot and a half tall 10 years ago. And we've never trimmed them. <laughs> we're probably, this year, we're going to try to trim them up because they've just gone crazy. They're eight feet tall. But boy, do they bear blueberries. 
every year. These are just rabbit eye blueberries, North Carolina rabbit eye blueberries. And I, I put a couple peppers in the ground. So th these have grown about two inches in two weeks. I just wanted to see how would the pepper grow just growing in the ground. And it looks rocky there, but there's actually good red soil underneath that. Just a bit of gravel there. I'd, I thought I'd just give it a shot and see. And so no contest in the pots uh, with a good potting soil, really good rich potting soil, they do way better, way better. So that right there, still about maybe eight or nine inches tall compared to that. That's what I'll pick. So I should dig these up and put them over yonder in the other, in the end of the, of the bed over there. This blueberry here is going to turn, I'd say in about, about two weeks we'll be eating blueberries off this. This is a New Jersey brand blueberry. So it, 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 it matures earlier in the season. So this is usually where we get, we get blueberries here, usually about middle of June. And then late June, early July, those start just coming in and we just get scads of blueberries off them. We have other blueberry bushes over here. And uh, looks like this bush did not do well this year. Usually it does fine. It's got some, just not so much. It's at the other end of the yard. And I'm trying to think of anything else. Our fig tree. So we have, I think six or seven fig trees now. This was the first one. This was the test. Now, I put it in the ground. It came in in a bucket. This is about six, seven years ago. And so this fig tree is probably 12 feet across this way. And I'd say it's seven and a half feet tall. And usually we get really good figs off of it. I see a few starting to come up here. That'll be toward late summer or whatever. And we'll have some figs and they are excellent. They're awesome. I should have trimmed this party i trimmed a bunch of uh, limbs off that i thought was dead that one i didn't get so yeah we got fig trees all over the place over here now because they do so well peach trees are looking just great somebody is popping off some rounds down in the valley if y'all are hearing that but yeah so the garden is it's it's a mess <laughs> at, at various times i've had um stuff in here where i could cook we've moved that all to other parts of the yard we had some benches out here at one point. I still at some at some point in the future might work better with this. That that uh, hammock has been there for almost 10 years now. I still come out, even though it looks ugly, and we never take it in the winter. We just leave it up all year year round and uh, have an old YouTube video from Lord knows how long ago putting that up. And I still sit in it at least two or three times a week on the night when it's not a lot of bugs i'll come out here and i'll lay in this with binoculars and i'll watch i'll look at the stars but this has held up really well it's just ugly now but it's probably seven eight years old and yeah, i need to replace it at some point you used to could buy these for like 60 bucks on amazon i think now they're at least two or three times that to buy these rope hammocks but that's where I chill out sometimes and lay out at night and I can see the whole sky up here above me. It, you can see, I've, uh, three or four times I've seen the International Space Station come across and watch it with binoculars. And that's my little garden update. Over here, so we, 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 we put this fig in two years ago. You know, just a small pot. So in two years, this one's decided to go wide. We've got other ones that have grown really tall and uh they're on the other side of the yard but folks this is <laughs> such as it is i need to do a lot of blowing out here a lot of raking get some of the twigs and mess up but we're trying to dedicate ourselves a little bit more to taking care of the garden the grapes are just out of control i guess in the fall i will uh do some work on the grapes meant to last year didn't get around to it these are the muscadines they're teeny now, all these little bitty bitty grapes. Folks, by the fall, by October, they'll be this big around and uber sweet. I mean, it's not good for my blood sugar, but I'll come out here and I'll, I'll just pick 50 of them and just suck the juice out of them. <laughs> so I don't like to eat them because the skins are so rough. And these over here are Concords, I think. And they do good some years, some years they don't. I trimmed the 
that big old sucker that's coming off of that off earlier today. But yeah, these these are really good tasting grapes. These turn purple. They're nice. They're seedless. I'm pretty sure those are seedless. That's a quick look at our garden in uh, early June. Today's, I guess, June 1st. June 1st, 2024. I may come back in a couple weeks and show you how the peppers are doing. They'll, they're going to be, I, I think I'm going to have a banner season for peppers unless something weird happens. I am. I'm going to do some more work here. This, though, I think it's going to, even though they're, they're planted a foot apart, uh, they'll do just fine. Like once it's over those, those patio planters we have over there, we have four peppers in each one of those and about the same space as this, and we usually get a good yield off of them. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like.